first memory was probably when I was when I was younger, going to like the Everton games and watching him play for Everton, and just like thinking to myself, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to be like my dad and just like kicking the ball around the house all the time. And as soon as I could walk, having a ball, kicking the ball. So yeah, that's the first memory. I was just always been a striker, really. Like for school, but obviously I played like centre midfield. Um, but I've always been a striker, and that's where I've always wanted to play, just to like be like him and emulate what he's done. I was in the same team as Phil as soon as I joined, because he was there from a younger years. But played with Phil, played with uh, Sancho. He joined in under 15. Yeah, there was a, there was a few I played with. Yeah, I just didn't really see a pathway at Man City. Um, like nothing bad to them, I just couldn't see where I'd fit in and where my first team minutes or appearances would come from so I thought it's better for me to leave and try and get them opportunities elsewhere and Stoke happened to be the place that me and my family felt was right for me. It's not too far away from where I live so yeah, I travel in, travel back so it's not too bad. Um, just it took a lot, uh, the move took a long time to get done and get finalised so it was a bit of a waiting game so I didn't really have to do any training for a, while everyone was back in pre-season I wasn't doing anything so it's a bit hard but eventually when I got back into it I found my feet. You know, in terms of a, a modern day centre forward um, you know he's got pace power um, he needs a little bit of encouragement to run in behind and, 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 and use it correctly um, but that's part of his development plan. Um, uh, but he's he's also someone that scores a, a range of different goals. You know, you don't see the same goals all the time from from Tyrese. Um, he scores with his head. He scores from inside the box, outside the box. Um, he, he's very comfortable at hitting the target, um, which is his his, his main attribute. Um, and then the other one is, is you know, he's, he's a really nice young man. Uh, it's good to have around the place. Um, he's desperate to be a, a, a professional footballer. Um, so he's got that. He's got that sort of real work ethic mentality that, that we'd look for in a young player. I was 17, 16, 17, and it was my first time, so I was just like, I've seen all these players on TV, on FIFA, and I'm training with them now, so I was like, but I enjoyed it, and it was just a great experience, and it made me just want more of it. I got told I was on the bench just before the game, so obviously it was my first time being traveling and then being in on the bench as well, so I was like, wow. So I wasn't expecting to come on, but when he talked, when he said, I go and get warmed up, I was like, I want to come on. So yeah, it was, I was just like shocked really, but it's a good experience and one that I really enjoyed and I'll remember forever. I think he's developed well, you know, obviously he's come from City and he's, he was used to just playing one way really, you know, obviously we've, we've, we've played different systems and different formations which helped his game, you know, he's, he's had to play in a two, he's had to play you know, in diamonds, he's had to play with uh, in, a, in, a, in a, if you like, a three-five-two. So that side, that side of the game helped him. You know, City tend to play one system right the way through, especially through the academy. So we had to do a lot of work with him on that side of it. There's still things that he needs to, you know, aspects of the, as I say, the game he needs to improve on. You know, out of possession stuff. You know, he, he needs to improve on, and just playing games really, playing 90 minutes continuously. You know. Uh, He's gone out alone now and hopefully that'll help him as well. It'd do wonders for him and his sense of uh, playing competitive football. You know, the, how important it is to win every week. You know, uh, getting a run of games, first team games under his belt, was playing 90 minutes. That's the biggest thing I think the boy needs to do. Tyrese needs to play 90 minutes continuously. You know, once he, once he, once he gets that and gets it under his belt, I'm sure we're flying. He scored last weekend. Um, as I say, hopefully he get a good run in the team and, and, and can come back from Shrewsbury with a, with a decent goal tally under his belt. You know, it's going to be a hard loan for him. You know, they're struggling near the bottom, so you know a lot of the games are going to be important. You know, they're going to need to win games, so that side of it is going to be important. The world, you know, the importance where he has to get three points every week. Um, that that's a vital ingredient that you do miss. You know, sometimes in development football. Because been great great for me to be honest. He's always supported me and helped me been tough with me at times when I've needed it but most of all he's just helped me and he's like taught me and coached me things I didn't really didn't know or learn before which has helped me and helped my game and definitely opened my eyes to a couple of things as well. I wasn't really sure whether I'd play or not and then found out that I was playing so we're just really focusing on the game and 
my job that the manager was asking me to do and I felt, I felt like the game, at first I was a little bit nervous but I felt as it went on then I got more comfortable and started getting on the ball more and when my chances came and I just said to myself I have to take. My dad had his career and this is mine now so I'll just get on with it and do the best I can do and if they want to start comparing then that's up to them but I just try and do my own thing and if the comparisons happen then they happen.